Hey, Fly fans, uh, we're here at BYB 19. Uh, your host, Brian. I'm here with my lovely uh, uh, co host, Aaron Tohill. And uh, it's been an exciting night so far. Uh, a lot of injuries. Uh, what do you think about um, everything that's been happening so far? Well, all these fights are incredible. The fighters are incredible. But it looks like I think they're going to announce it because it's happening right now. But the second no contest of the night. Wow. That's Second no contest and, a, and an injury, so it's been a it's been a lot of ups and downs. Right. Maybe just I think it was only one decision. <laughs> I think so. so. Lots of knockouts. What do you think about it? I think a lot of guys are going home on nights tonight, and uh, I'm just the fight of the night so far for me. The first fight of the night, what a banger, and such a shame that it came to uh, an end so fast because it was they were really getting into yes. it. What do you think about yes. that? Those two, some of the more experienced guys that are in bare knuckle, and they were dogs. When we have the opening fights in BYB, Mount Valenzuela puts them that way because they're the openers. Yeah. But man, those two, from the second that bell rang, boom, 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 boom. boom. But again, no contest, something hitting to the back of the head. I just saw Zion in the back. Yeah. He seemed like he was okay, so yeah. we're always concerned about the fighter's welfare. Yes. Yeah. I'm here with our winner, Jessica Smith, Dr. J. Congratulations on a hard fought win. How does it feel to get your first win in the Trigon? Um, it's, a, it's a different, like even coming into this fight, I knew it was going to be different. Um, and, and it felt really good to have Coach here. I didn't listen as much as I should have, but we're getting there and then we're learning and, and I feel like this was a good display of some of the growth that I've made. I can see a difference. Her first fight was in Dubai against a very experienced Sonia Dryling. You took a big step up for your first fight. All of this is building blocks experience. I saw a much improved fighter from the first fight and like we said I'm glad AJ was here your coach. So. What does this win mean to you? And what would you like to do next? This shit is fuel to the fire, baby. Um, I think a lot was riding on this fight as far as like, can we show the changes that you make? Because it's one thing to make those improvements in the gym, it's another to, to display when you're on the stage. And um, I'm sure you know, it's hard to mimic bare knuckle fighting. It's hard to, um, mimic that space that you're in, especially even if you're in there sparring, it's different when there's a rep in there, you know, and the lights are only on that space. So I think that this is, this is the first rung on the ladder. Baby steps. Yes, ma'am. Baby steps. Rome wasn't built overnight, so congratulations, Jessica. Congratulations, coach, your whole team from Long Beach. We're in the house always. Go enjoy that win. Can I say a quick thing? Yes, of course. Um, I want to thank my sponsors, OC Fight Docs, Kessler Family Wellness. Um, also, Bruce, Didi, McRae, thank you for your support and for lunch on the way. Coming in hot boating, Luminous Soul, uh, Bare Body Aesthetics, and most importantly, Savage Squad, baby. Squad, Squad up. Right. Appreciate y'all. I'm here with Harold McQueen. So Harold, earlier you fought Brandon Burr. So it's one of the four title fights that we had of tonight off the bat. You guys went to Fog of War, a battle of attrition, beautiful boxing. Brandon is a dog. He keeps coming forward. What was it? The last the last round? It was the fifth round. Six. The sixth round. And there was an eye poke. The doctor called the fight. How did you feel about that? I mean, you know, it should happen. It, it was unintentionally, you know, but I'm trying to keep my distance, my reins. I'm used to my box, I'm used to have gloves on, so, you know, it's a habit, but you jump in, I'm, I'm poking. Um, it sucks that the fight ended like that, but we can run it back. Brandon, he's a tough opponent. Yeah. He is a dog. I give it to him. Um, did he do anything that you expected him to do? Was he tougher than maybe you thought he was going to be? He's a little tougher. He yes. took, you know what I'm saying? He took a lot of punches. I watched. I saw I hit that motherfucker right now. With, with, with a lot of shit. I'm fucking one thing. 
it was there. It was tough. It was like a pond. Yeah. I liked it. It, yes. it. it was nice. It was a great fight. I feel like it really was. That shit could have been fought at night, you know. But um, all that stuff to grind it, man. Ain't, ain't no saltiness over here. Shit happens, and hopefully, like you said, he, he, we want to run it back. So. And we saw both you guys in the ring after camaraderie, respect. Stuff happens in fighting, so I think everybody understands that. And when you guys heal, I don't know how long it's going to take for Brandon to heal because his, honest to God, even in that 10 seconds when he walked back and I was going to maybe stop and interview him, I, I haven't seen anything that bad in a long time. So, you know, you put that work in and a beautiful fight. So the fans would love for you to run it back. Both of you would love to run it back. I so. love to run it back. We'll be Brandon, waiting. Brandon, yes. all the respect. You got all the respect, boy. You, you're a dog for that. I love it, though. I love yeah. it. So, exactly. hopefully, we, we, we can do it two. again. Take exactly. two. We can so. do it again. Motherfucker ain't no quitter, man. Motherfucker ain't no bitch. I, I know. I can't yeah. do it. I can't do it. I'm trying to hurt his ass. I heard it. He kept coming. He took that. You know, he, he got me with some good shit, too. My, my, my hands was great. We were like this. When we're back here, we go, ah, ah, ah. It was a great fight. It was a great fight. So, just, you know, heal that beautiful face oh, yeah. up. I'm going to hold up and I'll be right back. I appreciate yes. the, the opportunity, man. And yeah, you'll be back. I'll be back. I'm here. Enjoy the rest of your night. So, thank you. Always nice to talk to you. Thank you. I'm here with our winner, Levi Pitbull Costa. You are now two and one in bare knuckle. How does it feel to get a win against a big name and a veteran like Josh Burns? Yeah, I, I, I knew he's a tough opponent, yes. but he and uh, my coach Angel worked hard for that you know I mean? to, to get to the angles and the way to, to his stronger punches and uh, try to counter. You know what I mean? Yes. Did you notice any difference between the other bare knuckle and fighting in the trigon? For sure, for sure. What are the differences yeah, that the you notice? When you fight on, on, on ring, ring yes. it's easy to move, you yes. know what I mean? And the, on, the, on, on the triangle, if you get on the corner, it's it going to be hard to escape from there. Again. Yes. That's yeah. right. Well, congratulations on your win. Okay. What do you have planned? Next with PYB, and is there anyone in particular you might want to fight? Not yet, not yet. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, with, with okay. just my, my first fight. All right. What they like give that. me, I guess. Because yes. you know, some people they get one win in here and they're calling out all the champions. So I like that. Just take it yeah, easy, yeah. enjoy your win, okay, and you. have a good night. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You.